Um, Lemma introduces some strange and frankly unsettling relationships with these characters. There's something lying within these unfamiliar dynamics is shockingly familiar. The genre of global crime itself carries continuities <coughs> of discriminatory treatment based on perception, a theme that extends to the early publications of fictional stories to modern day true crime. And Lemon is absolutely no exception to this. Um, in the novel, Kwang Yo Sum makes implicit references to the impact surface level perception has on perceived societal value by contrasting the treatment of characters' high class and beauty to those of lowly position. In setting different, the treatment presents a prejudice perception positive. Um, Kwan Yo Sun places a large emphasis on beauty throughout the novel. Every narrator at some point mentions physical attractiveness, most com commonly contrasting Dayon and Heon. Heon is renowned by her peers and family for her startling beauty. All anyone knows about her is his beauty, and they admire her to the point of jealousy and resentment. Even following Heon's death, Dayon is forever remembered as Heon's little sister, even by someone that knew her better than Heon. Um, Heon is viewed as this highly desirable, sexualized girl, while Dayon is treated with no desire simply because her personality cannot make up for the difference in their appearance, which drives Dayon to eventually search for superficial ways to feel valued, including plastic surgery and losing extreme weight. Even the girl's parents present drastically different expectations for the girls. Heon was her father's beloved, beautiful girl, whereas uh, Dayon is never mentioned as having any sort of relationship with her father. Their mother continues this by having few expectations for the older Heon, instead of instructing Dayon to look out for her sister, accepting immaturity from the beautiful older daughter, but never with Dayon. Despite Heon's passing, her mother never let her go, and shifts more attention away from the daughter standing right in front of her, forever immortalizing the cold yet beautiful Heon. Beyond looks, Lemon introduces the different treatments awarded to characters of high social class. Most prevalently, social class is used as a way to judge the validity of Shin's word versus Han Minu, leading the investigation to move away from Shin because he is of high social class. Despite Heon having been last seen with Shin Jiyo Jong, oh, sorry, <laughs> as, as the lack of interest in Shin Jiyo Jong, even though more evidence is stacked against him, grants him the ability to flee Korea, thus leaving behind a crime he should be a major suspect in. This discrimination investigation can be attributed purely to Jiyo Jong's high status, which awards him an unfair advantage over Han Minu. According to Tyreem, Jiyo Jong comes from a family of accountants who are Christian and attend church for, with similarly high status people, saying specifically his father worked for a long time. He comes from a family of accountants, his mother and I went to the same college, and his family is also Christian. I used to attend another church, but she recommended that I move to theirs, so I did. One of the church members used to be a justice Court, and many of them are in the legal profession. We also have members of the National Assembly, cabinet, ministers, university professors, and artists. Many celebrities too. Um, the, this status is used to elevate who they are, and it makes Jiyo Jong not fit the mold for a killer, whereas the lower class Hamanu does. All this, all from the dramatic way perception influences societal and authoritative standards, corrupting even the supposedly just law enforcement. The effect of perception due to service level evaluation relates to Ronald Reagan and the welfare queen because his standing as a white, charismatic, powerful man allowed him to easily pin political issues on lowly populations. As an ex-actor, Ronald Reagan was known for his charming looks and excellent persuasive speaking skills. All this easily appealed to U.S. citizens. Just as Hang On and Shin Jiu Jun were awarded better treatment due simply to service level attributes, Ronald Reagan was given the same privilege for his outer appearance of attractiveness and power. People began to believe that poverty-stricken and or people of color were less trustworthy and undeserving of aid because they were total of a powerful, charming white man. This real-life example solidifies Kwon Yo Sung's evaluation of unfair treatment and blind belovedness of character due to outer appearances of high class and beauty as it harked perfectly on the power of perception rules. <laughs> Two seconds.